Hi guys, this is Leo here, your Amazon seller coach and in this video we're gonna discuss uh, the most recent blog that I wrote on how to become an Amazon seller in just five simple steps. Make sure you follow along all the steps and even you can be an Amazon seller in just this uh, in following these five steps. So without wasting time let's get started and you can read this blog on my blog I'm doing this YouTube video so that you get an idea on uh, what are the steps involved in creating uh, a proper Amazon seller account and become a successful seller so I've put a lot of uh, thoughts and um, insights from my experience of becoming an Amazon seller and make sure you learn from this and you don't repeat my mistakes and uh, make the most out of this so let's get started step one in becoming um, an amazon seller is niche selection it's basically um, to select a product type or uh, a particular uh, industry or a category that you want to really work on and uh, you don't at the same time uh, you should also have a passion towards that right so you should know what kind of uh, uh, thing you're interested in and these uh, questions can be answered uh, by you to identify your niche so if you can see here you can just write down the top three topics that you're interested in uh, to read when you are in school or college and uh, what do you do in your free time what are the top three purchases that you are proud of so these things will let you know what kind of uh, category and the product that you can incline to and uh, become a seller on that particular category and uh, this is just a start so don't take a lot of time to identify this uh, in fact I started with a random product and then I figured out my niche and now I'm doing um, you know a, a diversified uh, list of products because I uh, went into too much on Amazon uh, selling instead of focusing on what product that I do I just focused on how do I sell on Amazon so uh, you know instead of focusing on too much on product finally I figured it out that uh, you know selling out in Amazon is my niche so uh, so it's it's the process it takes you uh, and it's not always uh, what kind of niche you select now and you can't step out of that it's not like that so it's just the beginning on the way uh, you will be able to actually um, figure out and change the niche change uh, products um, and stuff like that but you will uh, learn once you start otherwise you know you can't uh, really um, see how things are moving out and that's really important so so yes uh, make sure that you do this selection in not just a matter of like you know five six days of research is more than enough and you will be able to identify a niche that you are comfortable in working and you have some kind of talent in that niche you have a market fit as well so market also needs the product and uh, you don't feel like working in that niche um, you know really i'm um, not talking about working in the niche i'm talking about you don't feel literally putting too much effort because you love the product and you love the category so it's like that so it's a win-win and um, uh, moving on to the next step is profitability ca profitability calculator um, this is an important step because see any business you do you need to know what kind of profits that you can make from that so after some point in time um, you should be able to you know take the money back uh, that you have invested and uh, you should be able to you know generate revenue add more team members to your team increase the scale of the business and uh, these all requires profit so without profit you can't uh, sustain a business so make sure that you do these research uh, and using these tools uh, that i'm showing you here you can use helium 10 jungle scout amazon scout amazon blast so these tools uh, are really powerful in uh, helping you to identify the products that really sell well and these tools will give you a lot of information about uh, 
how much revenue a particular product is making what kind of profits they are operating at how many stock levels are there so this all these things will give you a fair idea on like before jumping into the um, actual business so you can see all these data and uh, take a calculative measure um, so this tools will even help you out in identifying your uh, vendors as well because see when you you know uh, see all the uh, competitions what prices they are selling in what prices they are uh, making a profit so you can opt for uh, a good vendor who gives you the raw material at the right price so you also be able to compete enough with your um, competition on amazon so so that's very important and uh, this tool will also give you a lot of information about uh, how how these amazon sellers are making money by paying all the uh, charges that's been levied by amazon and this will give you a breakup of all these things so there are a lot of things that are involved in the fee there's a referral fee it depends on product category uh, it ranges from somewhere from 5 to 35 percent um, you know mostly fashion related stuff beauty related stuff slightly mm -hmm. higher other than that it's uh, fine and uh, there's a fixed closing fee based on the price bracket and there's a weight handling fee that is uh, you know uh, shipping your product from your warehouse or uh, your FC fulfillment center uh, to the final customer address and then there's a transportation cost that's leave it towards from your warehouse um, to the amazon fulfillment center um, and you can just have a question like you know, you know do i need to have a warehouse to you know become a seller no it doesn't take a warehouse it's just an it's just an address that you need from where uh, you can just ship your products so tentatively it can be your home as well so you can just do it from your home you can just give your registered address as a home and then amazon people will come and pick uh, shipments from your home and then they take it to a fulfillment center so i'll cover more topics about you know how to do fba the, it's called the fba model so in the future videos make sure that you follow the uh, you know um, my channel so that you get uh, the updates right and uh, moving on to the next charge that they put as pick and pack so when you get a shipment you always see it's wrapped up ne neatly on a carton box and stickers are sticked on it so that it reaches the uh, um, you know buyers so that's very important here so uh, amazon will do it on behalf of you uh, if you're doing fba model otherwise this is not charged and even the storage removals all these things are uh, when you use fba um, it's uh, fulfilled by amazon uh, so so fba models are really popular because it reduces a lot of effort for new sellers uh, you don't have to do anything you just have to pack one shot in big garden box whatever goods you're gonna send it and then send it to amazon amazon will uh, you know um, um, break those into small samples and stack it in their warehouse so when somebody orders from amazon site uh, your product uh, when uh, somebody orders your product from amazon amazon will pick one piece or two piece whatever number they order and then they send it to the respective customer and they give an update to you to your customers and uh, you know that smoothens up the process but whereas in mfn that's called uh, merchant fulfilled um, so you will have to do all these things of course amazon will come and pick from your doorstep but uh, you'll have to pick and pack and you can you know you need a printer to you know uh, put stickering labels on that and stuff like that so i will cover more about fba and mfn in the next uh, few videos that i'm planning to do um, but still uh, it gives a clear idea on uh, what kind of categories you can sell into you know you can see uh, this these are all the categories that you can sell into um, so and uh, there is a, a big guideline sheet that amazon follows you can just use this link um, and i'm not going to show it to you right now uh, but uh, you get an idea so i'm gonna click on this but you need to log into a seller central that's why i don't want to show to you right now 
but anyway you get an idea so you will be able to see a very big list of products that you can sell on amazon and you must always comply with your amazon uh, packaging guidelines it's not just amazon packaging guidelines um, it is all about um, having um, the guidelines followed as per the uh, indian government or even for that matter if you're selling abroad like a different marketplace not in india but in a london or europe uh, you should be able to match their packaging guidelines and amazon will give you all directions to how to you know uh, um, follow these guidelines uh, right from the uh, package design right from product design so you must read this before you know coming to an idea on what kind of colors and what kind of images that you're going to use in a package design what kind of words we can use what are the certifications we need for a particular type of product so for example you need some products need bis certificate which is very huge investment initially so i would suggest new sellers don't go for that kind of category um, um, if uh, there are some categories that has uh, um you know need uh, some kind of uh, licensing uh, master licensing and a lot of uh, in is standard certificates you just read about all these things you will get a fair idea on what kind of category you can choose and uh, what kind of uh, certifications is required and uh, what are the methods to up get the certification so in my opinion I would not request new sellers to go for a product that needs uh, a certification because it is again a bottleneck. Oh, an experienced seller can handle it very easily because they have all these things in place. They just need some money to get the certification done and they can go live with the products. But when it comes to a new seller, it's again a bottleneck. There's some kind of money involved, knowledge, acqui knowledge acquisition time involved. There's a learning curve on that as well. So, so I would suggest you to go for a product that doesn't require all these things predominantly pick up a product that you can buy uh, from large suppliers wholesalers and um, you know think about coming up with a new uh, packaging design and package it and label it under your brand and then try to sell it out so that's the good strategy that worked for me and i i'm, I'm able to sell more than um, you know uh, 40 to 50 products now uh, in this strategy so i don't go for products that has certification and stuff like that as of now i am planning to launch few more brands in the coming years but uh, uh, i am working on the grounds of uh, the, the certifications required what kind of uh, packaging should i go for so all these things i'm figuring it out as we speak and i will definitely launch those kind of products at that time i will throw more light on this particular uh, section and uh, so the next step would be um, amazon seller account creation uh, it's very simple like creating an account on any um, online network but just that you need uh, a proper documents that you need so so you can create uh, using this url so you can just search amazon seller account creation so you get a page which has uh, 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 something like this so you can just uh, okay so the page will be like this register now okay so you get this page and you can just click on start selling and uh, you should be able to uh, create a new amazon account okay so all you need is these two things uh, mobile number that is not used in your normal uh, amazon account otherwise this two will be getting paired and it will create some kind of conflict which i had initially and then i had to literally separate these two accounts to make sure that it's at like both the two extremes and i don't want to confuse uh, into my personal account towards my selling account so use a mobile number that is not used on your personal amazon account that is a personal amazon shopping account use an email id that is not used on your amazon seller account amazon buyer account so so make sure that you do that and then you can just uh, input your keywords 
and then uh, you should be able to uh, uh, get that uh, registration done so once you register um, you can uh, so I'll just show you what are the documents you want Amazon in the next screen Amazon will pop you up with all these details you need to uh, tell about your business where is it from address um, PAN number GST details and what kind of category you're dealing with so you can just select any category because you can change this category as you increase the number of products in your portfolio and uh, you can of course create uh, this is for an Indian account that I'm talking now you can of course create seller account for US UK Saudi Arabia UAE um, but uh, for US account UK account you need to have a subscription plan that which means uh, it's like a subscribing to a tool online tool whereas you will have to key in your credit card and Amazon will charge you on a monthly uh, retainer to use their platform uh, it's applicable on most of the marketplaces that are much established like US UK China Japan and stuff like that um, whereas um, accounts in India, Saudi Arabia, UAE which are in a very initial state yes you heard it right India uh, Indian Amazon sellers are in a very initial state like uh, we are uh, currently having around 7 lakh sellers uh, but uh, Amazon is putting a lot of efforts to bring uh, more than uh, of uh, 20 to 25 sellers in the next couple of years so 20 to 25 lakh sellers in the next couple of years and my mission and vision is to put uh, more than a lakh uh, sellers into the Amazon seller account and who are successful in selling in Amazon and I want you to really succeed and that's why I'm giving away a lot of information that you don't find in most of the videos that I've seen on the internet um, I'm putting all my learnings into this so make sure that you subscribe to my channel and uh, you get the most out of this and uh, okay moving on to the next step in Amazon's becoming an Amazon seller is private label packaging design so why I stress upon private label packaging is see uh, any product that you go and search on the internet uh, for example candle holder stands um, you know pen holders all these things are predominantly dominated by non-branded products because see I could see a very large belt of sellers who are not understanding the power of branding uh, so I don't want you to make that mistake so when you do a non-branded product and you try to sell on Amazon what happens is you're competing with a lot of sellers who doesn't have uh, a lot of unique uniqueness into them so so see why do we buy brands so we like to associate with brand names brandings labels human behavior is very uh, inclined towards brand names brandings why the brand stands for what is the meaning behind it so everything is questionable though we don't ask this our subconscious mind knows it why am I buying uh, something that is associated with a brand so why do we buy Nike and why do we buy uh, Adidas um, or even you know cars like you know Skoda or Mercedes and uh, so, so, so a lot of things associated with that of course it comes with a certain cost but our human brain associates well uh, the products very well with branding uh, branding brand names and stuff like that so they of course you can ask me like who's gonna look for you know uh, the brand uh, I'm, I'm a very small brand I'm not sure who's gonna look for it and all of that but see I'll tell you why the difference is huge um, uh, human behavior is like so you want a charger okay you want a charger and uh, I would say in a charger uh, probably you want uh, a microphone uh, okay microphone I want a microphone that is the basic need but I want you know um, road microphone you know how was that because I've experienced road 
and i know uh, what to buy and if my friend asks me what microphone are you using um, of course he's not going to you ask me uh, you know are you using microphone because i put a lot of videos on the internet so uh, he's going to ask me uh, what microphone are you using so he wants to know what brand it is so nobody's going to use uh, ask or even you want to say what is what am i doing it's about what brand you're using always so what do you had for lunch you had domino's pizza so what do you had for uh, where did you have chai from i have from chai point so so a lot of conversations in in human um, daily interaction involves a lot of brands without knowing we have been into this for a very long time so what i would say is uh, every small brand or a big brand it needs a private label and it needs to be associated with a particular generic product even any product you can you can take a, as simple as a uh, buds so what do you use to you uh, know cotton uh, buds i'm talking about cotton ear buds so so what do you use to clear your clean your ear it's like i use so and so brand so so it's like it's everything is interlinked and a lot of things are revolved around this so branding is very essential and important and private label packaging will help you to build that brand and now we're going to look at how you can make a very good a uh, brand uh, design a private label so these are the steps uh, that i would just suggest you um, you know uh, these are the checklist make sure that you have a, a checklist ready when you have uh, to hire a designer or even you are designing on your own um, it doesn't matter but these are the steps that you need to follow and this is a very major step because uh, it could cost you a lot when you make a bad design right in fact it would stop your product from selling uh, because most of the information you put on your product and you label it and you make sure that it is visible to the customer so that's very important here so so make sure that you have this as a checklist and uh, mm, you know um, you follow this and then i make sure that uh, the customers get maximum information when they see your product because the labeling is very very important um okay so let's get started and now the first step is font pairing if you don't know what is font pairing you can just check this um, you know uh, video that i'm making so what I, what is happening here so i have used font pairing technique so look at the headings and look at the uh, 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 you know body uh, fonts so it are it are symmetrical and similar so you get a pleasant feel on reading this instead of trying to you know figure out what is there what's not there and stuff like that so it's not confusing it's very clean and simple and subtle so that's why font pairing is very important it makes your text to read very simple and um very easy for the eye to follow the lines that you've written it's very very important and it helps you to highlight certain points and to minimize the focus on certain points using different uh, font sizes font pairing techniques and font colors so that's about it so moving on to the next one um it's about how to use um uh, Uh, certain information in which side so for example your product has two sides like your labeling has two sides make sure that the information that are needed for the customers to immediately take decisions on the front side so like weight size flavor pattern or all the any any other attributes that are associated with your product so it can be anything that is associated with the product and that gives information for the buyers to make sure that the buying decision is faster so put it on the front side and the next point we go at uh, using bright colors uh, on a white background so so what happens is most of the times your products will be uh, uh, seen and shown on a white background in amazon so what happens is when you use a white color packaging it just blends and gels with that and it's not popping out and standing out so that could reduce your sale so make sure that you have colorful packaging or some color that is contrast towards uh, the white background so that's it and uh, uh, yeah you should make sure that the packaging is uh, 
in compliance with the packaging laws uh, in the country like if you're selling it in India make sure that it is um, you know as per the Indian law and um, you should also be very careful in selecting the material um, uh, sorry uh, yeah uh, your packaging material also is very important you know some of the things that you're planning to come up with maybe as a new seller you might have very, you know, might be very enthusiastic in you know coming up with products but these are the ex experience that i'm talking about some packaging materials requires you to create in you know lakhs and lakhs of quantities even to start so those kind of packaging materials are uh, you know not good for start i would suggest go for a carton box that uh, you want in your size okay and try to put stickers and labels on it it will give you an easy start if you want to go for pouches go for pouches stand up pouches ziploc pouches and put a sticker on it stickers come at a very um, uh, bit pricey but i would say uh, it is very uh, cost effective when you do a launch so when you do want to produce like uh, you know 200 to 500 units of your product that you're planning to launch stickers are the best way because if you go for print and big prints you will minimum have to do a lot of uh, investment in terms of printing so that's not suitable for a new seller and i would not recommend that so make sure that you select a packaging materials that doesn't need uh, you to buy in lakhs and lakhs of quantity instead uh, focus on products that you can you know get it in a lesser quantity um, yeah that's it and also you must choose uh, a, a packaging that is suitable for logistics and suitable for long travel um, so whatever it is ATS or sorry Amazon transport services ATS means okay uh, so ATS or even any other service provider you are shipping with to your final customer you need to make sure that they are going to throw your products and you know put and crunch your product crush your product with all other products that that's going to ship along with your product so sometimes you get sh to ship with a you know pillow uh, or you can you can get your product shipped against some kind of heavy products like atta so so it might you know crush um, so make sure that your product is reaching your final customer without having any um, you know uh, cracks or you know damages so that your product doesn't come back so you know, arresting your uh, um, product returns uh, is a very big step in uh, as an Amazon seller so you make sure that a packaging that is very very much suitable for long travels okay and uh, you can uh, uh, say for example you have a product that is very delicate and you can't have a packaging um, to suit for a long time and try to go for an outer cotton so you can just choose an outer cotton to protect your products from getting damaged in transit so that's very easy and one more important step is like do not go for glass packaging because this increases your grammage which means your product will automatically go above 500 grams so you'll end up paying more um, shipment price but i would just have a, a very big profit calculator sheet created for you um, in the next video and i will share how to use it make sure that you see that video and you should be able to use the video and come out uh, it, what kind of products you can use why grammage is very important okay right now it's just important uh, it's you can use it you can use for glass for small products but not for a very um, big product which is more than 50 to 100 gram okay and uh, try to go for eco-friendly packaging um, make sure to use cotton boxes uh, paper pouches and stuff like that so that you don't uh, use a lot of plastic because I feel like Amazon or India even any other country would soon ban plastic packaging across their verticals okay so make sure that you have plastic free packaging and uh, make sure you have enough uh, white space in the background uh, so in the packaging so that you can print manufacture date batch code and so on so so you would have seen this um, you know 
uh, manufactured date printed on all of the products all the products that you can see in any supermarket or even online so what happens is most of the batch code printers and barcode printers come only with black ink so when you print this black ink against a darker uh, uh, colored uh, label it won't be clearly visible so it makes again uh, less impact on customers to get a lot of uh, attention on your product so make sure that you use a white background as a patch there so that you will be able to print it uh, these informations so that's why so i i can just keep on you know saying a lot of points but um the subject is very vast and i'm not able to squeeze all my thoughts in these 10 points but these are the basics and if you are right in this and um, you can be sure that your products doesn't miss eyeballs from your target audience so that's all i can say for now and uh, we will of course cover about this packaging guidelines in the next video uh, make sure that you um, you know put a comment below or give it a thumbs up if you really like what i am talking about and uh, you can also let me know what kind of um, information that you need um, when it comes to packaging design i will completely design a new video on that and then i will um, see how i can add more value to it all right and moving on to the fifth step and the final step of listing file creation yeah so this is like a sort of a sales pitch right so when you do a lot of work hard work and research and you want to present this idea to the whole world and you want to make sure that the people are impressed and how do you do that yes amazon listing file creation itself is a sales pitch design because you will have to give most of your information right out of the box just by using these uh, listing files so a listing file consists of uh, five uh, you know two major parts basically um, three major things uh, um, basically a text part and an image part and a video part so uh, video parts are applicable only for sellers who have um, trademark license uh, on their uh, brand logo so apply for a trademark uh, so then you can use this video content as a part of your sales pitch in amazon if not no pause no problem you will still be able to create sales pitches using the text form and an image form and uh, you can actually use these uh, uh, in uh, in uh, uh, what do you call that yeah yeah let's let's talk about the first one um, text form you will have to create the text content uh, for the title bullet disc bullet points and description so there are certain checklists so let's look at the checklist so title must not exceed 200 characters including spaces must contain brand name at the beginning declare the quantity on a title generally buyers compare the price and the quantity before they click Titles must not contain promotional phrases like free shipping, 100% quality and all of that. Uh, titles must not also contain characters that are mentioned here. Titles must contain identifying information such as, uh, you know, generic names of the products uh, must be included. If it's like a biscuit, you should really write it's a biscuit for. So, so that's, that's it. And uh, th and then then moving on to the next uh, checklist for images. So if you can uh, you know remember any of the product Amazon pages, first you will see you know five to ten images of any product, and then you read about the bullet points that is the text form that we discussed about. So coming back to the image guidelines, um, so these the guidelines. So no prop should be used as a thumbnail product okay so the first product should should not use any prop it should literally be your product and all the product features must be clearly visible the main image should be a pure background a pure white background and uh, the main image uh, must be a professional photographs of actual photographs no illustrations are allowed in this so no no graphic photographs only actual photographs and the main images must not have must not contain multiple views it's just a single product you should just show what it actually it is in the front side that's all images must match the product title so whatever you're showing here must be written on the images so if it's new sanitary pads you're showing on the image it should be having sanitary pads written on the title as well so at least 85 percent of the images area should be filled okay so 85 uh, 85 percent of the the image area should be having uh, some kind of content uh, otherwise it can be rejected okay and the resolution 
all these things will be taken care of by your designer or if you're designing make sure that you use a 72 dpi resolution so that your pro product doesn't get less quality when it's shown anywhere on the internet and the image should be more than 1000 by 1000 pixels large and uh, um, you can create the images in .jpg, .tif or gif format but jpeg is mostly preferred product must not be on a mannequin so literally you should show the products that's it mm, images must not contain uh, model names unless the product is apparel yeah if the product is on a model the model must be standing not sitting kneeling down or lying down so so it's it's there uh, if you're if this is applicable for most of the fashion sellers and the products must be uh, out of the packaging or shown without external brand kits yeah that's what you, you know you cannot use any other uh, things other than uh, this these are all for the main thumbnails okay main image of the product so just make sure that you follow these steps and definitely you'll get approved okay moving on to the next uh, image section the secondary images uh, so the secondary images can be of uh, including uh, you know uh, a lot of uh, secondary images can be um, using um, bullet points that can be uh, you know shown with a, uh, a complementary image supporting product so you can sh open the box and show you can just show actual product like for in powder form or you know whatever form it is like open the product and literally show them and the next thing can have additional images can have even how to use benefits and you can also use um, you know some kind of uh, application purposes who can use uh, how to use uh, and stuff like that and what are the ingredients uh, what are the materials how it's done how it's procured so all these informations will give uh, will come as a secondary image and that will give more idea of the buyers to make sure their purchasing decision is faster and the more information you give the more sales that you can make because your customer is very clear in what she is buying or what he's buying all right so moving on to the bullet points so each bullet point can start with a capital letter and try to describe the product feature qualities ingredients benefits and make sure the keywords are used amazon keyword research and seo is a very vast topic and i will make some more videos on that but as of now this is more than enough bullet points can be written in seg seg sentence fragments and not descriptive paragraphs so make sure that you're to the point and clearly communicating whatever you want to communicate about the product there should be no punctuation marks or semicolons or phrases in in a single bullet point do not include promotional informations like links and stuff like that then in the mass you, your product will get disapproved okay so moving on to the next section of descriptions so you can see if you scroll down any product page you will have product descriptions so you can actually create um, whatever information that you return on your images bullet points and all that make it as more descriptive as possible and uh, you can use uh, you know these kind of uh, style guides um, like using html and javascript and make sure that you can just use uh, you know bullet points and stuff like that in your descriptions and you can generate this using this free um, html editor tool of course i am planning to come up with one for me as of now i don't have but uh, i'm planning to come up in the future uh, but i'm analyzing on what are the drawbacks that you have in this but still it does the job you can try this and you will be able to generate a very good uh, 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 product description for your products and then uh, there's a video checklist for Amazon uh, sellers who have uh, uh, trademark registered for their products so you can upload up to 10 videos and you can you must follow all the guidelines that is mentioned here so you will have to click on this and you should be able to download it because what happens is you need a seller account again for this okay so make sure that you create a seller account and then click on this and uh, do not use time sensitive information because videos are there for a very longer time so you just don't use warranty and all of that from the date and all of that so just make sure that it is uh, very generic and the video should not mislead it should not over promise it should not claim anything false so all these things are there as you move on you will be able to figure out or you can just raise a seller support ticket and you should be able to get it done and 
moving on to the next one yeah so that's it we have come to the final session and uh, yeah um, so these are the very simple steps that you can follow as an Amazon seller new seller and uh, I've I've done it more than 50 times uh, all these steps that I've discussed because I've launched more than 50 products into Amazon now and uh, I can help you navigate through uh, these things very easily um, you can book a one hour strategy call and I will deliver as much as value as uh, you're expecting and exceed your, ex exceed your expectations as well so make sure you book a, a strategy session with me and I will surprise you with a lot of value so see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like this video give a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon and get notified whenever i put a next video thank you